Some disclosure forms. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. The Pacific. The Pacific Crest. They're called the Pacific Crest uh, Trail Association. The Pacific Crest National Scenic Trail. This is where they're going to go to the state of from the state of California to the state of Washington and stealing your land. I, I didn't write this. No way. Here you go. Right here. Washington. Washington, Oregon, Nevada, and California. These criminals right here from the Lewis and Clark show right here, their names right there, the Lewis and Clark show right here, their names are in these documents. I didn't write these documents. Guess what? And not the, they, they went ahead, but guess what Greg Walden did? Here you go. These are right here. These is where all the land they're going to steal. Nicely highlighted, all, all with little beautiful dots, red dots, green dots, blue dots, lines and everything of where, guess what, Calico Resource, Uranium One, and all these, and all these mining corporations are going to go ahead, right here. In addition, which right here, they're allocating funds for it. Your national parks have become part of the UN, and this is how they're doing it. And they're allocating our tax dollars to steal the lands. So guess what they'll do? They'll decide to create a bill called the Sage Grouse. And guess what? Through this Sage Grouse with Cliff, with Cliff Bentz, Stephen E. Grassy participated in it. I didn't, I didn't write this. This here. So help of Judge Stephen E. Grassy, Harney County, and named Cliff Bentz in, the H, in a bill uh, 334. This is Cliff Bentz and Stephen E. Grassy. So if they can't take your, if they can, if they cannot buy the ranch out, they'll create this bogus and dangerous species act with with Cliff Bentz. And then guess what? And Kate Brown continued expanding it with an executive order 1518. Here you go. And these executive orders that she signed into into place. Here, here you go. Here's the Sage Grouse, the, the Oregon Sage Grouse Group action plan. So guess what? With this plan, they're going to go ahead. So if they can't take the ranches by paying them off and buying their land, they're going to create one of these Endangered Species Act, and they're going to get the BLM, Department of uh, U.S. Forestry, and Department of Fish and Wildlife to take you out. I didn't write this. This is what they did. This is what these criminals did, because that's what they are. They're criminals. And they're not representing you, but yet we got them in office. And guess what? The four main people that have been appointed, Kate Brown, Stephen E. Grassi, David Ward, and, uh, and there's one more that I'm forgetting that were all appointed. These people were, and, and Stephen Beverly, the one that options your lands. These people were appointed, not elected by we, the people. This is why you call it a tyrannical government. With no, that has no bounds to, it, to, any, to, to anything within the Constitution. And guess whose names are it? Stacey Davies, right there, and Stephen E. Grassi participated in this bill with Kate Brown. So what's going on? So here we continue on with the Pacific Crest National Scenic. As you can see, they already outlined California, Washington, and Oregon. And, we're gonna, and I'm going to put the names right here, because guess what? Lisa Murkowski, you are also part of this. You're no different than these criminals. And here you go. Ron Wyden. That's Ron Wyden's signature. I didn't, I didn't alter or fabricate that. That's Ron Wyden. He happily signed it because his head fund is connected to this. Because they need more land to get more minerals and to get more water. This is why these unconstitutional bills are passing. And guess what? Your representative Jeff Murphy is part of this. Right here. Here you go. This is all Jeff Murphy. Jeff Murphy, Ron White. And guess what? Well, well, that, well, what are you talking about? Well, guess what? They got their earmarks. Here you go. These earmarks are all connected. So if they don't get you, if they don't get you by a bill, they'll provide an earmark. They create an earmark to fund these corporations. And guess what? Once these corporations get more money, then get, they take more of your minerals and more of your land. And this is how they're doing it. Through earmarks, through hedge funds, through unconstitutional bills. They're systematically destroying our republic and defrauding our children. And here we go. So how do we, how do we continue going on with this? We got Stephen E. Grassley. Thank you, WikiLeaks. I'm going to have to extend my thanks to WikiLeaks that validated my work since when I came out in April. I was saying it all along, these criminals are defrauding us because of Uranium One. And to our military, thank you for your service, but stand down your unconstitutional orders. 
from Barack Hussein Obama to Harry Reid to Jeff Murphy to Ron Wyden to George Soros. These are the criminals you are actually stealing land from Syria, from Africa. Stand down those orders and come back home and arrest these criminals under Article 3. Because guess what? I didn't write this. Our Senator Charles Grassley stated this, that Uranium One deal. He did a Uranium deal involved with the, with the Hammonds. Through, right here, through the Hammonds. And getting the Uranium that's underneath the Hammonds and all over Hardy Baker County and Mount Here County and giving it to China. Under, under the House, uh, we call it Senate Bill 113 and HR 4402. I didn't write this, these, they created this. And right here, these documents are basically, what the hell are we doing? What the hell is Hillary Clinton through the Clinton Foundation and John Bautista through, through Uranium One and his, and his lobbyists with his brother that have a mafia organization with the Clinton Foundation on giving Uranium to Russia, China, and ISIS? Aren't there our enemies? It, doesn't the State Department say that Russia, China, Iran are enemies of the United States? If they are, what the hell are they doing giving 20% of the Uranium? to these people. And I didn't say, and guess what they said? I'll even expand and read it. Not, not, when they extract it, not that it causes health problems, because it says water pollution, water pollution in the environment, and including radioactive material, but these radioactive materials are used to create weapons. And this is what's stated here on the S1113, on his Senate bill to make weapons, but weapons, guess what? We're sending our military to fight these, uh, these countries when, when Hillary Clinton through John Bautista, through Jeff Merkley, Ron White, and Gore, uh, Greg, Greg Walden are arming them. What are we arming? What are we doing arming our enemies and having our military overseas fighting? Fighting for what? For who? Benghazi. Senator, what do you call it? Uh, Stevens died. What did he die for? And other, and, and, and other what we call it, uh, soldiers that died with, Steve, with Stevens. Who's going to be held accountable for that? They were murdered while we're giving our enemies ISIS, uranium, and weapons and money. So who are we going to hold? Are we going to hold these criminals accountable, or are we going to hold the bunnies? Are we going to hold Sh uh, what do you call it? Shana Cox? What the hell's going on? Or Daryl Thorne? Why are these people going to jail? Why, are they, why is Kate Brown continuing with this case? Or Anna J. Brown? Even Anna Akins. Anna Akins is not immune to this. Anna Akins should be coming down to under, under Anna Article 3 with, with uh, Stacey Beckerman and, uh, Sa and Sally Amanda Marshall. These people knowingly gay participated with the Clinton Foundation in giving uranium to Russia, to China, and to Iran. I didn't say it. Let me say it again. Senator Chuck Grassley wrote two letters, one dated August 15, uh, 2016, and the other letter dated June 30, 2015, which states that they're giving uranium to Russia, including our goal to China. So who they're representing? And why are we sending our military overseas? To our veterans, these are the same criminals that are defrauding your, your pension funds. That, that, that they're depriving you of your health care. That Barack Hussein Obama gave himself $400,000 but did not, did not want to go ahead and give a raise to our military while they're over there overseas shedding their blood and tears sweat to give us freedom. But are we free? At what cost are we free? How many more children got to lose their mother and father for these criminals to continue profiting? When are we going to hold these criminals accountable? Because that's what they are, criminals. It breaks my heart to know that our military is overseas. Fighting for, who, for, for nobody, but for the self-interest and the profiteers of the, of the dirty politicians. Because that's what they are, dirty politicians. And they're sick and twisted. And they need to be hung for treason. Hallelujah.